Recently, a friend of mine got into fountain pens. The bug bit him good. It pleased me much. He asked me what should we actually write with these things. I was once like him. I would liked fountain pens, but I wasn't accustomed to writing things down. And when I wanted to answer his question sincerely, I started to see the light. But then he broke my heart. I have good news and bad news for you. The good news is that it's not as mysterious as people make it out to be. Now that I think of it, for some people that might actually be the bad news. You don't need a journal, you don't need habits, you don't need a hobby, you don't need a purpose, you don't need an aim. You don't need any insight, you don't need to be profound or special ability, you don't even need to be a writer. You just need the will and a pen, not a quill. Some people grab them for everyday use, others reserve them for more important and significant matters such as contracts and signings. I always feel especially serious when I take out my fountain pens. Hmm, yes, very serious. But then it dawned on me. Whenever we read history, we tend to think that everything was so different in the olden days. But in reality, it was much the same. In the old days, people didn't sit around thinking, what should I write with this thing? No. They needed to write something and grab this. The use case was exactly the same as it is today. Even for the quill. The same goes. The fountain pen wasn't invented until 1853? 1884. So before that, people used feathers. To them, the pen was simply a tool. Just as this was. And now the equivalent is this. All I'm trying to say is that there is nothing sacred about these. Well, there could be if you want to, but then you should watch this video. You write whatever you need to write. And you find whatever pen and ink suits your needs. So now that my friend is into fountain pens, I asked him to subscribe to my channel. Then he said, I prefer Brian Lay. Brian Lay. He broke my heart. Would you please consider subscribing to my channel and help me mend it back again? What should we actually write with these? There are three categories of things to write with a fountain pen. Notes to self, notes to others and important stuff. Notes to others, to your partner, to the mailman. I always put a post-it note on the door to say, put the package down, package deliverer. Notes to yourself, grocery list, work notes, ideas, calendar items, invoice pay dates. Yeah, this is my invoice pay date fountain pen with dollar green ink. Important stuff, documents, signings, letters, invitations and so on. There are some less traditional uses of fountain pens that require specialty inks and nibs and stuff. One is to use it on lumber. I use this one. If you have the right ink, uh, you need a water resistant, UV resistant ink. And a, a steel nib, preferably. Golden nib is not good on lumber. Shower notes, you need waterproof ink, obviously. Signatures, you want document ink, that is waterproof. And on cheap paper, you want noodless X feather. Not for quills. What do you use your fountain pens to write commonly? Let me know in the comments below. I'm always eager to find out. What not to write with a fountain pen? Well, laminated paper, write in the rain notepads and stuff like that. It will wash right off, it's no use. And carbon paper, clipboards and such. The nibs don't really lend themselves for pressure that much. Although there are specialty nibs like the accountant's nib that are developed for that. I actually have one here. This Pelican 140 has an accountant nib. Very stiff, very nice, very hard, very scratchy. What are fountain pens especially good at? What is their neck? Fast writing, signatures, decorative writing, anything that requires a bit of pizzazz. But you need to make sure that they are well maintained the flow needs to be good. So you need to clean them out. If you don't know how to do that, check this video. 
and greeting cards. But make sure to use a waterproof ink, especially where I live it's rainy and the mailman doesn't care. Now that we know what to write, how do we actually write it well? Well, if you're the kind of person that goes off of instinct when writing, there's a lot to be gained with just a little bit of structure. This next video will get you up to speed. Nice pen. But click this video. Don't look at the pen. Click the video. Alright, look at the pen. Gorgeous.